Fountain of Youth runner-up in due time will need to get the win in this weekend's Stone Street Lexington Stakes in order to have a shot at the Kentucky Derby. We spoke with his connections, trainer Kelly Breen, and his partnership, Edge Racing. We purchased in due time uh, at the OBS April sale, and uh, Nick Hines and I, who uh, run and manage Edge Racing, uh, found him, and obviously he was just a, an, an athlete to us, and we got him at an affordable price, and, and that was the biggest thing for us. We believed when we started him off as a two-year-old that he had the ability to be a really nice horse after he won his first race. We did decide to give him some time off. He ran well in his second start back. He won, stretching out in distance, pointed him towards the Derby Trail. In his last race, he, he runs second in the Fountain of Youth. And it was the first time where I saw him was a little tired. He did bounce back and within 48 hours that he was back to normal. So the time in between races, I know if we were to run well in the Lexington, it's only three races or three weeks until the Derby, but that extended time that he had in between his last race and this race, I think is just gonna help him perform better. Edge Racing, it's a, it's a spin-off and a syndicate off of MyRaceHorse.com. And it's just more of your traditional syndicate. Uh, some of the owners that were ready to take the next step that came from My Race Horse uh, and take a little bigger piece of ownership and go on this journey after the allowance race, so uh, Medallion Racing, which is a partnership of TaylorMade and Parkland Stables uh, joined us on this journey. And we're excited, you know, anytime we get to compete in these big races and fingers crossed a, a win could get us in the Derby, uh, there's nothing uh, more fun than that. And to, to celebrate it with more people is even better. So he breezed over the Keelan track on a track labeled Muddy. Uh, wasn't the fastest of workouts. It was just the maintenance. And since he's been here, he's been doing well. We drew the two posts out of 11. Ideally like to see him forwardly placed because he is a kind of horse that if we ask him for speed, I think that we'll have the speed. So now we're uh, you know, going back to if we will make it to the Derby or, or not, uh, determines on this race coming up. But he's a nice horse, regardless if we make it to the Derby or not, uh, I believe that he's a nice horse. And, and there's a long three-year-old campaign, I'd like to have some fun with him and, and run in some nice races. I want to say we have almost 25 people bringing family, friends from all over. Uh, that's the best part. We have people from California, Florida, New York, uh, Chicago. So it is really cool to see all these people. And, and on a day like this, uh, all due to one horse, come and meet up. And as Kelly has always kind of told us, and, and Paco, who's ridden him, uh, said he's going to just get better with more distance and time. You know, we didn't start till November of 2020. So, uh, this is really our, our first journey on the Derby Trail. So it's sure exciting in a short period of time to be able to do it. The Derby is the Derby. Everybody talks about it. It's the race of races. It's been a couple of years since I've been back. My kids never asked about races before and they're like, are we going to the Derby this year? So you, you do have the excitement. There's nothing here in Kentucky like the Kentucky Derby. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like or a comment and subscribe to our channel for more content from the TDN.